of low expectation. Four defeats with one draw. Damas y Caballeros de Guadalajara, Mexico. The challenger, former two-time world champion, three-time world champion, reigning, defending, WBC International. Actions, play my commands at all time. Touch gloves. First punch of the fight as he gets that jab out there, and he's got to hold him on and his first punch. As Larios goes in his first uh, shot of the Left hand, he'll try the right hand lead, double left hook. That will, uh, with the Wayne McCullers, I pointed out, you can be sure his heart is in his mouth. Hoping nothing happens to Manny like that. So that Pacquiao could not settle into an attack. Well, this Pacquiao with an attack, and but there's only 54 seconds to go. Here's Manny for the power shot of the left-handed fight this fight, but Larios has to take the typical way of this momentarily. And you see Larios is there. Manny in front of him now, moving the hands up and down, looping right hand. Manny face for the southpaw fighter. And he gets to try and score with his right hand. And that's why he got the man. Manny must feel that he can do what he wants. And he showed that he could start, but he still has to be properly timed as far as taking his chance. And he's a hand speed. Larios has come to fight. Uh, he got hit with a pretty good right hand that time. And another round. But he wasn't cut, so if this is by a glove, it doesn't make any difference. It does not fall. The accidental head has really been visibly shaken. Well, at one stage, he did catch Larios. His leg grew a little bit And they looked a little loose. Look better than what it was. Time to time, Dave. Well, you know, he's been ready for one big opportunity rather than close a guy who can maximize chances. But Larios, a little taller, able to keep him off. Pacquiao has to decide he wants to work for that open. That's right, even though we gave him the last round. Give him a little bounce in the fall right there. Patented. To stay right with his fight plan, keep the jab going. Coming in, and that is what uh, a good move is to set a guy up. Time, Larios doing a nice job. You know, you come back and try to get the next one, keep yourself in the fight. But that little move by Pacquiao has scored. From Aronet to Coliseum. Is the opportunity. He is moving more now. And now with him moving, he's the game the movement. As they're looking for positioning. And part of the job for... Because his knees didn't go and his head was rocked. It becomes so obvious. His Manny, uppercuts, left foot. Big jaw, rips another one to the side of the head. Flies him to the body. Now he's softening up that guy. This is Manny. Now we're seeing the Pacquiao jab doubling up. And that wasn't going to be frustrating uh, a bit for Lario. But many of many Pacquiao's landing power shots out of head was down with a head in the body. He's done his many loading up shots. Six shots. You better answer. A couple of rounds ago. He's firing these shots and not firing and getting caught. That many can come forward with that left shoulder and show a lot of power now with his right hand. His legs don't look so he has to separate the very well to stand up. And he has really give him a chance to revive himself. But many Pacquiao more. In fact, uh, Manny Pacquiao won five, six, and seven. So look at this. He intended to take his best chances in here, and he's still alive. And he is, and now Manny spins it. And he unleashes the barrage of the goal. He is accurate with his punches now because there is a fatigue factor, and most of that is the fault of the power. But it all change, and you get your whole car redone. That's Zab Judah. Carlos Baldemar surprised him. Can't leave this time, and that's what he's famous for. Houston, where you're going to fight, and then bring them your heart. Make no mistake about boxing in the past four or five years. He's landing big shots now, but there's no quick decision, in my opinion, right now. Oh, look at that flash. He's a courageous boxer the last minute of this tenth round. Manny would like to finish.
emergency though. You know, not an emergency like I can't knock this guy out. I love that move by uh, Larios. And when he does that, he throws his right hand right up back here, just outboxing him now. If he can survive three, he can maybe hang in there for 12. Now goes downstairs with the right hooks and is opening up with the good speed there. You know what, he's safely ahead in the cards, so it's got to be a perfect scenario for Patrick. Pressure on him, so he's come out there and uh, trust in his chin, trust in his conditioning. And... With a knockout. Let's see if he can do it in round number 12. He's on the conditioning has kept him in the fight. For Pacquiao working inside this because you can be a beneficiary of low expectations. And still champion, the fighting pie of the Philippines.